אוקיי. ומדו נתיבות שלום, ספר שמות, and the parasha is משפטים. Right? So it's after מתן תורה, which was יתרו, and we're continuing. And the topic is, בשעה שהקדימו נעשה לשמה. First they, uh, they said, let's do it. Before actually listening or understanding what they're supposed to do. ניקח ספר הברית ויקרא באוזני העם ויאמרו כל אשר דיבר השם נעשה ונשמע. So משה took the book of the covenant and was reading and then they said yeah anything השם is telling us we will do and then we will listen. ניקח משה את אדם right so they were sacrificing and uh, they took the blood and they throw the blood and they said this is the blood of the covenant and that השם created right between him and us with all the things that in the Torah, all of these things, which in Ayanu Gamal Omram, even when they said, Kol Asher Deber Hashem Naseh Venishma, that's also the covenant of that. Not only on the thing that were written in the book of the covenant, but also when we said, we will do whatever you ask us to do, even without knowing what you want us to do. That was another covenant. And because of that, and that's why they have the merit, they gain that covenant between Hashem and us. And he said, we need to explain. What does it mean that they agree, right? Or they, they stated that we'll do before what we're going to hear. And our sages says, in Ma'amar Chazal, it was a higher level. Right? Israel, that we were elevated during the time of receiving the Torah. Harvey, I'm going to mute you. Okay, that we were elevated during the time of receiving the Torah. As I said, you said in Masechet Shabbat, when we say prior to listen, we said we will do. Then 600,000 angels came to each one of Israel and they tied him two crowns. One crown for Naseh, one crown for Nishma. And also it says over there that when we say Naseh and Nishma, there was a voice coming from heaven and like complaining, said, who taught this secret that the serpent, the angels are using it? Who revealed it to them? And also it said, Masechet Shabbat, Nishma. And when we said Naseh Nishma, Hashem called us actually gave us the, again the title Bini Bechur Israel, my firstborn Israel. And Rashi explained, Shaya Galui Lefanecha, Shayna Tidin Omar Lefanecha Bisena Yasev and Nishma. So that's why already in Egypt, Hashem called us, right, when, when Moshe was uh, going to Pharaoh, he said, we are the first firstborn, right, of Hashem. So Hashem already knew that this is what we're going to say. So that's why in Egypt, he already called us Bini Bechur. So what's going on from that? So from prior to, to listening, we said that, okay, we're going to do, right? Like a soldier, we're going to do and then tell us what to do. That's the highest level that the Matan Torah itself, receiving the Torah, he said it was like a, in force. Hashem forced us, right? Metaphorically, he took the, the mountain, he said, you're receiving the Torah or I'm dropping it on you. So yeah, of course. <laughs> if it's at the condition so yeah give us the Torah but that's special level that they had that they did from their own will no, Hashem didn't force us and by doing that we receive all the ma'alot that we had the, the 600,000 angels that coming down and give us the, the crown etc and we could say Alpaman Daita, when he says in the book Maor Enaim, in Parashat Itro, again, he's talk, talking about the Gedimun Asur and Nishma. And we, excuse me? Okay. So it says, right, so we're learning Hasidut. So whatever we, we take here, it's not taking, you can say taking literally, not literally, but we're taking it on Derech HaAvodah. So he said, okay, what we can learn from Nasel and Nishma? That we will first do and then we listen. He said, "The in el adam is zmanim shel aliyah, is zmanim shel irida." We always have ups and downs, big time and chazu chedila going down. 
and this is the, the secret when we said in the, in the Navi Cheskel, right? They have a pasuk over there, Vachayot Ratzov Ashov. So I think we learned it um, last year, maybe two years ago, that everything have like yin and yang, Ratzov Ashov. Ratzov is like to run, and Lashov is to, to go back. You're breathing in, you're breathing out. You awake and active, and then you have to sleep. The whole world is working like this, right? Plus, minus, etc. So he said, and that's what the secret in the in the Chizkel, Tefer Chizkel, Ratzov Ashov. This is the seder of Briah. That's the, the order of creation. Always there is ups and down, ups and down. And after an up hill, there is a downhill. And then again, and the reason for that, it's a, it's a very secret thing. That's a secret from, from the writer, from the Torah. But we need to always hold, that, hold on to Hashem that always we have to, and that's a difficult level. Because then if when everything is smooth and we're happy and everything is great, then of course we're thanking Hashem, etc. When, when we're going down, that's the time really that we need to continue to thank Hashem and continue with that, to be consistent with that. And this is the inyan of ikidim when I and ishma. Which means we will do even without understand what's going on. Of course, you have to to hear what what you're supposed to do, right? Otherwise, how we will do it? So it's not that they said first we do and then we listen. They will listen, but even without understanding, they will doing it. They will do it, right? And that was the gedula, and that's why Hashem was like uh, uh, he said uh, glorified with us that we said nasev nishma. And the explanation, right? we continue here. There, there are two types or two levels or two contexts of cleaving to Hashem. There is Dvekut, cleaving to Hashem from Gadlut, mitoch Gadlut, like from the peak time. That, that when we really understand, we see, we, we acknowledging how Hashem is great and we have pleasure from that and everything. And there is the, the other side of it, the, the second type, from katnut, from being in, in a narrow place. That when a Jew is, when a Jew is in a, in a lower level, and he, and he understands, he recognizes that he's, he's in a very lower level. So he's nullifying himself to Hashem. He said, Hashem, you know, what I am, am I? I'm nothing, whatever, you know, I can't do that, I can't do this. Can be there, blah blah blah. I'm with you. Like whatever you do, you know, I'm trusting you. This is the good that's coming from from Katnut, right? Like from the depth of who's calling you, like David Amelech says. And that's the purpose. That's the tachlit of Kabbalat Torah, of receiving the Torah. That we should be always cleaving to Hashem in light and in darkness. And that's why that's the God of Ma'ala. That was that that it's so it's it's an advantage that when we said yeah. Understand, we don't understand. We are in, in ups, we are in down. We we'll always do what you're telling us to do. And then maybe we can stop and understand and learn. But even if we don't, we, we are with you. And for that, Hashem called us, Beni Bechur Israel. And when he says, Banai Raze, who, who, who revealed to my son this secret, that's why they call Beni Bechur. And it means that this secret, that the, the, the Melachia Sharet, right, the servants, the angels are using it because they are always cleaving to Hashem, right? The angels are in in upper world, so they're always cleaving to Hashem, and and for them, like there is no uh, situation of uh, ups and downs. Angel is an angel, like a robot is programmed, right? And they're always betelim legamre to to Hashem. Barach. And they don't have an identity, right? Like a, a separate identity. So that's why, like the, the voice coming from heaven said, eh, who told them, who revealed to Bnei well that they should be always cleaving to Hashem, even in darkness, like the, the angels. And according to that, on the Pasuk, right? So Moshe is, is like approaching to the mountain, approaching to the, to the smoke, to the smoke, to the clouds, right? And he said there are three levels of darkness, one on top of each other. There is Choshech, Hanan, and Arafel. So Choshech is darkness, and then you have clouds, and then you have the smoke. 
or mystic something. And that mystic thing is actually a very uh, physical thing. It's like the thickness, darkness, right? Smoke actually, it's a... Uh, it steams or something, right? Like the cloud is going down. You cannot even use light, in proper light, because it will reflect, right? It's a physical thing. It's not lacking of light. So Moshe Negashi El Arafel, so Moshe was approaching, he was going into that Arafel, which is the, the, the deepest darkness. That, on the contrary, Hashem is there. Right? Like the famous question, you know, where, where Hashem was in the Holocaust? He was there. He was there. Right, so it says in the Mamara Katuv, Hashem Ua Elokim. Sheota Avdut, Shesh Beshaat, Agilui. So the same type of uh, uh, slavery, or, or you know, we are the servant of Hashem in a time of revelation, like the ten plagues and the splitting of the sea, etc. So the same level we should also hold on in the time of Tzimtzum Vechashkut, time of darkness. And that's the explanation for Moshe Negashel Arafel to teach us that Hashem is there. And we shouldn't be, how you said, uh, in English, and we shouldn't be uh, lazy. And according to that, he said she, the main purpose of Kabbalah Torah is the, the constant cleaving to Hashem. And this is what it says in Ma'amar Beshamasechet Shabbat, right? So everybody agreed that the Torah was giving to us on Shabbos. And this is, that's why the main mitzvah of Shabbat is cleaving to Hashem, because that's the purpose of the Torah. And by the way, you know, mitzvot, what is mitzvot? The Shorosh is tzavet, letzavet. It's like to hook up together. When we do a mitzvah, we will become like a team member with Hashem, because it's connecting us. This is mitzvot. That's the literal translation of the word mitzvah. This is the, the, the infinite sign between us and Hashem. The, 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 Shabbat itself, the day of Shabbat, this is the Itzumo Shelayom, that's the, the essence of the day that we should be cleaving to Hashem. And also we should say, in Yan Ekdim when I say Nishma, the Nishma Dragam Yechere, there's a special level that beside keeping the mitzvot, right, and preventing from doing Averot from sin, that Hashem do Hashem's will, even in the thing that there is no specific command about that. They are not written in the mitzvah Torah. But that's the Shem will that we should do or we shouldn't do. Right? And it says in Sefer Yisod HaAvodah, after the two sons of Aaron, Adav and Avio, after they die, right? And Moshe was a little bit upset because what about the sacrifices that Aaron is supposed to do and eat? And he said, right, he was not supposed to because he was on end. But he says, I was eating it. Right? And Aaron said, I, I decided to do what Hashem will be happy with. And then, like Moshe Rabbeinu, it's like the first time he heard that there was another path of Avodat Hashem, which is if Hashem will like it or not. And deep inside, when you're asking yourself the question, then we know the answer, if Hashem will like it or not. Right? And he didn't say, Aaron, I did according to the law, I did according to Allah, yes or no. Ela, I did it according to Hashem's. And then Moshe Ishma ve'itav bena. It was good in in in, in Moshe. Yeah. And this is what we found in Chazal in Masech Tehuma. Ki Yem Avraham Avinu et Kol Torah Torah. That Avraham Avinu was fulfilling the entire Torah, but it was not given to us, right? It was not given at the time. So where where he knew what to do, but Avraham always asked to do Hashem's will, and his soul taught him what is Hashem will. What he should do, what he shouldn't do. And by doing that, he was fulfilling the Torah. So not necessarily he did what we're doing today. He was doing whatever it was at the time applicable and what he was supposed to do according to Hashem's will and if Hashem was pleased from that. This is the Inyam Hashigdim Israel Nasel and Ishma. That we said again, Nasel and Ishma. Which means we will do Hashem's will even before what we will hear, what we need to do. Before we know all the tzivuim that we recommended, etc., and also the things that are not included in that, and because we're not going to hear how we will know, oh, we will do what Hashem will be happy. And that that type of secret, right? The angel are doing, and that's why a voice coming out and said, "Who who revealed that?" But we doing that and saying that, right? Hashem called us our firstborn.
And as it says, right, and it says here, Shekol Mautam Shemalcha the, the essence of the, the servants is to do Hashem will. As we says in the Tfilat Ribon, Kol Aulamim in the Shabbat, Melachecha Gdoshim Vatorim Shosim Ritzonecha. Your pure angel that doing your will. That's why it was so important to say Naseve Nishma. And that was the, something that was a very, very significant. And because of that, Hashem called us Bnei Bechuri. And Bnei Bechuri means that whatever we do, if Chaz V'chalila, we do sins, Hashem will always love us because we are the first born. Thank you very much for listening.